Hello, Dara Scott. Thank you for being here and welcome to Romania. Thanks very much. It's great to be here. It's uh, quite a show you have going on here. I'm glad uh, you have a good impression on uh, what's happening here. Uh, and uh, thank you for accepting to answer some of uh, my questions, like a small interview uh, to tell uh, the Romanian uh, beekeepers what, uh, what you produce and uh, what uh, they can gain uh, by applying tribal life in uh, the Romanian uh, apiaries. My pleasure. Um, for start, um, can you tell us how, uh, how you how came the idea to, to develop this product? Sure. Um, I, I was looking for something for uh, for bees that would help them, that would help them keep them strong, a natural product that would help keep bees strong. Uh, there are lots of products out there that showed uh, short-term effects that reacted to a problem as opposed to a preventative that helped bees keep them strong and help the whole time. Uh, so I started looking at the different natural ingredients that could have an effect on the bees, a positive effect on the bees. And I'm from Ireland. Uh, Ireland is surrounded by the sea, and the sea has lots of seaweeds. And Ireland and maybe Canada are the two, two top places in the world for seaweed research and using seaweeds for animal feeds. In fact, we use seaweeds for uh, the coal. We have a coal that will boil up certain seaweeds and it helps uh, boost the immune system for the coal. You have a culture for seaweed. Yeah, yeah, we have we have a strong culture of seaweed. We have whole islands that are, are basically created by seaweeds and allowed to, to, to farm on seaweeds with seaweeds because they've used them properly. Okay. Seaweeds are now used in animal feeds uh, for, for antifungal, antibacterial, uh, viral, antiviral, uh, immune stimulatory in a major way to the point that they can actually replace antibiotics and other medicines that, that animals can be farmed organically using only seaweed, seaweed extracts in particular, not just taking a whole seaweed. It's interesting and uh, mostly for us, uh, we don't have a culture for, uh, for seaweed here in, uh, in Romania, but uh, it would be interesting to start uh, using the things that uh, you've developed there and uh, uh, things that uh, to, to, this, uh, to have this effect on the hive. Yeah, and, and of course the other advantage of it is that the bee pathogens, the things that attack the bee, uh, they would never have encountered seaweed before. Other things they might have encountered, other, other natural remedies they might have encountered in real life before. This is a new pathogens from wouldn't be used to, to, to defending off the actives of the seaweed. Therefore, it's coming out from a new angle. So it's like, I suppose, the opposite of antibiotic resistance. Okay. Thank you for this interesting uh, insight in uh, seaweed in uh, Ireland. Um, now that we have the product, uh, can you tell us uh, shortly which are the main uh, wins for the beekeeper and, uh, of course, for the beehive? Sure. Um, so, hive alive is all about keeping colonies healthy, protecting colonies, keeping disease levels low in the colony. So, we have done lots of trials, lots of data to produce uh, to show uh, that basically when you use hive alive, because of keeping disease levels, uh, no, you're keeping uh, the colonies strong, the colonies create more bees, more population, and more honey. Uh, this, this has been done in numerous trials in numerous countries, uh, showing the same thing, uh, keeping uh, nitrogen seam saline low, uh, with other data to show how, uh, for instance, uh, trough root levels and fowl root levels are kept low as well, because the bees are strong, they will defend well against the colony. So it's important to understand that hive life isn't a medicine. It's not a, 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 or it's not a quick fix either. A lot of people, you know, tend to react and use a product that that might have a, a short-term effect, but isn't necessarily good in the long term for the bees. Hive life is something that you use consistently, and you get consistently better results with. Um, all our trials are based over sort of a year, year and a half. And it's within those trials where you're seeing that the big population increases, the big honey increases, the lower mortality uh, and the lower disease levels. Uh, and it's the continued use, it's basically keeping your, health, your bees in, in top condition at all times, that's what we're doing with Hive Alive. So of course there's lots of other uses for Hive Alive as well. Um, another advantage of Hive Alive is the fact that uh, when you use it to surplus and ferment, 
so that gives you a longer feeding window so you can feed close to the winter time you don't have to worry about winter comes quick and they haven't sealed off all the uh, all, all the, uh, the syrup they haven't capped it all off but it's not going to go bad in the hive uh, if it's still high moisture because it won't go moldy which means the bees won't get sick eating it not only that uh, if you don't use up all the syrup you can and if you use it then in the spring or if you don't use it all in the spring you can use them in the autumn time um, I actually use uh, syrup in a little spray bottle and use it like smoke, especially in the in the uh, in the spring. Uh, it's it's good for the bees, uh, and of course they eat the hive alive as well, which is good. Uh, and also using spray uh, when you're introducing new queens uh, helps to mask the pheromones, which is good for for introducing the queen, and not not getting the bee colony all defensive. And another reason, again, why you might use a spray bottle is if foundations, sometimes older foundations, the, uh, the older wax, the bees can be slow to draw on this to make out foam. Uh, the, when you spray on the hive alive with syrup, they're much quicker to start drawing it out and work a lot quicker. Thank you for this uh, great uh, product insight. Uh, we understand that the, uh, the way uh, hive alive uh, works. Uh, and in the end, uh, I would like to, to have your opinion on what, uh, what you found in, uh, in Romania and the uh, Flyova Fair, uh, in which you participated in two days. Yeah, I've had a great time. Uh, I have to say, Romania is a very friendly place. I, I know it was actually as soon as I got on the plane to hear uh, that, that the people on the plane were all kind of seem to know each other, be friendly, and would talk to each other. It's, it's not something you see very often on planes anymore. Uh, Here's this group are all being very, very kind, very good, uh, and it's been a great time. I'm really impressed with the, with the uh, scale of the beekeeping uh, and the interest the beekeepers have in, in, in new products and, 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 and alternative ways of improving their beekeeping. And it's very impressive to see. Thank you very much for you being here and uh, your presence and there. Uh, we also appreciate uh, you coming. And uh, I hope we can see each other in the future for uh, similar events in Romania also. I hope so too. Thanks very much.